guys mo picking here you have to tell me how this works out i'm going to try something new um, whenever i got this lock i'm going to take high definition pictures of them and kind of do a picture in picture thing but what we got today is jason carlson's boron hope you all can see that okay i can't see the screen on my camera to tell whether i'm getting it in focus or not but we got boron I went ahead and placed a mark on it so we can see the sets or false sets or when I actually get it. I've picked it a couple times off camera, but we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully I can get it on camera and not struggle with it. So I'll give it about five, six minutes, and if I don't get it, then I'll re-record it. So here we go. I'm going to use bottom of the QA. I got my top of the QA the other day, and I just, I don't, I don't know. I, I, I guess I'm just not used to it yet because whenever I stick the pick in there, it's like I've got way too much real estate to work with. So maybe it's just a learning curve. So I use bottom of the keyway so I can kind of use that to go against. But Jason's locks are like, I don't know, they've got some weird alien technology in it. I've picked it, but I have not tore it apart yet. So hopefully I can get this picked and tore apart and get some good pictures of the pins. But we're going to be using my new Medusa today. Uh, just got it from uh, Sparrows the other day. I really, really like it. Um, I did take and sand this down to more of a point. Um, Bosnia and Bill even said to take and file this inside edge down a little bit so you get a little more reach, but I, I don't know. I really like it the way it is now. Um, so, oh, we'll see what happens. We'll see if we can get in this thing. But this lock here will teach you about light tension. I mean, if if your finger's resting on it, just sitting on it, that's good enough. Um, so let's see what happens. I hope everyone's doing good. Uh, a little movement on the core in there. So we're going to rake it a few times, see if we can get some false pins going here. Okay, I'm hanging up on at pin six. It happens every time. So we'll flip over to the hook. There's six. Five's binding. It's not ready. So, coming out here. Oh, we'll click on two. Counter rotation. Finally set. One. Okay, let's work our way back in. Two. It's froze up. There's three. Okay, there's a big click on three. Oh, crunchy on four. Let's see here counter rotation went back lost it false set these serrated pins they're they just walk this false set around it's it's nasty so let's rake it back see if I can get everything back I had see that pin six is hung up again I lost everything I had it's, it's light tension just feather light oh there it went there now you can see that false set that thing really popped around at that time Okay, so let's see here. Uh, this thing is a monster inside here. Look at that. Look at that. Counter rotation on that. Look at that. That thing is messy. Let's see here. Look at that. These pins are... There we go. Got that one set. I'm telling you what, it's like hitting speed bumps in there. You just freeze up let's see here Man, let's come back out see if I can't use the back of this thing to push them up oh there we go we're open Whew. so Jason Carlson's boron open um, we do have the key for it right here um, he sent it with the uh little keychain for the uh, cancer awareness breast cancer awareness month October so uh, that's one reason I picked the lock is because it had this he sent me another one with it so we're gonna try it next but uh, uh, this one here messed with me for a while so um, since we have the key we're gonna go ahead and lock it back up but as you can see the key it's flawless no no clicks nothing so um, I don't know if you can see the bidding or not um, it's pretty flat, but that, that gatekeeper right there 
and I, I, I think there's something here on the tip that it's it's using because that is just a almost a vertical cut. That that thing is pretty wild. So let's let's see what's inside here. I know you guys always want to make sure we use the right size and so I make sure I have every size. Okay, so take this tail shaft off here. Make sure here we see what we're doing. Yep, okay, we're good. I like the angle. I've actually got two cameras going. I've got my GoPro straight ahead of me, right overhead. And then I've got my camera on tripod to my right. So we're gonna try it and see what happens. Okay, so there's the tail shaft. Now Jason said his locks are all pretty nasty locks, so we're gonna try to shim it. So key back in it here. Okay. Uh, now the, you, the guys, you, you've heard say that if you have these, um, this is off of the DVD. I took an exacto knife and cut it and then I peeled these pieces of metal out of them they're very very thin pieces of metal so we're gonna try and see if we can slip one of those in there it's tight fit in there too let's see here ah there we go there it went Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're going to go over here to the uh, Half Moon. I call them the Texas Moon Followers. These are made by uh, Chris Moon in Texas. And uh, so that's why I've kind of nicknamed them the Texas Moon. So I guess we'll go to that one since it's got that tail shaft cut like that. So let's see what happens here. Let's hope I don't make a big mess out of things. That's where my key pin's at. Okay, right there. Okay, so slide that right up there. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, let's put that right there. Okay, so uh, look at that thing. There's no pin in one or four at all. There's only a four pin and a six pin lock. That is wow. That's why that wow, that's an interesting feedback, too. So what you would think would be that gatekeeper pin. There's no pin there. Wow. Some mind games. Good job, Jason. Impressive. Okay, so let's see what we got. So we'll go ahead and line them up according to where they're supposed to be here. Two looks like a standard. Oh, something, uh, something in three. Three's a really, really short. Okay. Uh, nothing in four, so we'll go over here to this one. No, it looks like all of the key pins are standard. Kind of greasy, but let's see if we got any fancy stuff in the core here. That one's undercut, feels like. Yeah, like fours. Okay, so here we go. I'll see if I can't get a still picture of this, but this, these last two are threaded. Two and four are undercut. One didn't have a pin, so two, four, and then five and six are threaded. So some fancy stuff there, not really bad, but it got me. So let me see here, my tweezers are at, right here. I don't have any pinning tweezers yet, so bear with me here. I'm gonna try to do this without messing it up too bad. All right, let's see. That shim stayed in there, so let me see if I can get that shim back out of there. Okay. 
Alright, so there's a shim. So you guys can see that works really good. Okay, so since we know this is the top, I'm going to go ahead and spin this like this. We're walking out the back here. Wow. I'll take pictures of these, but that's a... Is that a double spool in there? These both fell out. Oh, man. Uh, okay, so I see what I did. I overset it. So I'm going to assume that goes like that. Huh. That's why there was no, any, no pin in there. I overset it right up into the Bible. I guess that's one way to do it. Open is open, right? So we'll put that back in one. Okay, so go down to two. Oh, wow. Really nice double spool. Really, really nice. I better turn that around. I think it goes like that. Yeah, so it catches them serrations. Okay, three. Wow, nice T pin on that one. That was really. Oh wow, that's nice fine serrations on that one. Really nice, really nice. Okay, so let's go on to four. Hmm. Nothing came out of four. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so let's go back this way. Go to six. Oop, come flying out of there. Wow, look, wow, that thing is crazy. I don't know if you can get down the GoPro good. That is all thread. That is all thread of the spool. That is mean looking. That is bad. Here, oop, I think I'm flying up out there. Alright. Wow, that one's... Whew. Alright, so let's... Make sure. Okay. So we're going to go back through there. So I can see if we got any super springs or something funky, funky in there. So there's six. Six, just a little brass one. Five, just a brass one. Okay, four. Four is empty. Okay. Some psychological warfare going on here. Okay, one. Regular spring. Two. Regular spring. And since we don't know, we only got three left. Just another regular spring. So there it is. There's the pinning. Uh, stack one, two, three, four is empty, five and six so again this is uh jason carlson's number 23 boron picked and gutted thanks for watching guys stay legal